Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another Farming Simulator 22 video. Uh, if you watched my last 22 vid, you'll notice that we had a problem with the graphics and there was a cartoony, blurry, hazy effect and I could not work out what, why, where, how, like what was causing it because I say I've got a pretty okay-ish spec computer PC setup and it was just driving me mad how I could run 19 on full whack and it was absolutely fine. I come on to 22 load in, put everything up as I would normally, and it just looked horrible, blurry, cartoony, shell-shaded is the best way to describe it. So, if you have a high-end PC, this probably doesn't benefit you whatsoever, but if you're running, I want to say, medium to high graphics card, like I run an RX 580, it's pretty decent, it's all, it's all good. Or if you run a GTX 2060, 2070, 1060, 1070, that sort of area card, just your five, six hundred pound card, I shall show you what I have found. So I run 1080p anyway, just get my monitors, it is what it is, VSync on. I run Windows just because it's easier for my YouTube in. But this is my graphics setup, and it is running a nice 55, 60 FPS at reasonably high graphics. So, I've had a good play, and I've gone through almost every setting until I had nice smooth gameplay and really pleasing graphics, to be honest. So this is what I've come up with. It's a multi-sampling, two times, TA on. So everything's on high. Draw distances and that, I've just upped a little bit. Um, again, all these uh, texture filtering and multi sampling down to two times just for smoothness. But again, everything is on high realistic beacons, of course. And I had it all on before and it was horrible. It was so blurry. But here is the culprit the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Now, I should show you what this looks like in ultra quality. And it's like the opposite of what you would think. So we'll load the game in quickly and I shall show you. So this Fidelity FX creates this blurring effect for stuff sort of in the distance. It, it does something with the resolution at a distance and there's this horrible blur, like the trees have a horrible blur. Walking up to the cows there is this blur and it was jarring. You get up close it looks normal. I'm going to tab into a machine and can you see that? There's a horrible, horrible, horrible sort of, like you can't read the John Deere when you sort of scroll around. Zoom in, it's good, but you come out, there it is. And it was driving me mad. So you're walking up to machines, there's this horrible, again, nice and close, clear. From this sort of distance, like you can't read the McCormick, and you can just see this haze. And I didn't like it. It was annoying. Like in the distance there, look, horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So picture this now, that blur as I'm walking towards it. And we'll go back and turn that off. So options, advanced, here it is. You need to come off. So again, everything else, uh, let's put that, everything on high, and then you draw distances to what you want. So all reasonable. Like reasonably high settings there and then let's load back in apologies to people that already know this but I didn't know and it was driving me mad and it took a long time to figure out what caused it so now as we walk towards the cows they're a lot sharper see there's no real blur there we'll go to the John Deere you see, the John Deere is visible as I'm rotating the camera before you couldn't read it. And then we'll go back to the same position. So everything seems a lot more crisp and a lot clear. And you can see the McCormick quite easy. Before it was a horrible blur. And again, if you remember the John Deere combine before, it was like shell shaded and cartoony. And now that's a lot better, a lot crisp. Oh my god, I'm so glad I found it. It was it was bugging me because it just made the game horrible for me. I like crisp, clear graphics, and that fidelity effects is just blur heaven. So 
For anyone that didn't know that, i.e. me, and it took me a long time to figure out, I hope this benefits you. If you already knew about uh, the fatality effects, then fair play to you. I mean, I'm not a massive PC expert. So again, mid to high graphics cards, that is your perfect setting. I'll quickly show you again before we go. So with that graphics setting, I'm getting a nice 60 FPS. Nice performance, visually pleasing. I'll just scroll down slowly for you. But that keeps going to very high, so we'll put everything on high. Two times texturing on multi sampling and anti lasing, whatever it is. But this is the culprit. Fidelity's effect super resolution renders the scene at a lower resolution and upscales the image to the display resolution using the Fidelity effects SR. Lowering this can improve performance. It doesn't improve performance. Turning it off makes the game so much better. Anyway, get back to your play in FS22. Enjoy your evening, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.